Right, so another integration question, so for some C4 revision. We've got this function here, which is drawn, and we want to find the finite region enclosed by the curve and naught, and uh, between 0 and 2 pi, so the curve, the x-axis, and between 0 and 2 pi. And we want to find that by integration, so it's three marks, it's not that a challenging integration, it's just a couple of little fiddly bits. So integration between 0 and 2 pi, of 3 sine x over 2 dx. Well, I'm going to take from my integration and from inside, I've got a 3 here from the inside of the function using the kind of the reverse chain rule. I'm going to get um, a, a 1 over a half here. I'm going to get 1 over a half, which actually becomes a 2. So, with along with a 3, that becomes a 6. So, if I take that out, sine differentiates to cos. So that means that sine integrates to minus cos. In this case, minus cos x over 2. And we're doing that expression between 0 and 2 pi. So that means you get 6 brackets. And then you're going to get minus from the minus cos and cos of, of pi, or cos of pi over 2 divided by 2, which is just pi, uh, comes out as minus 1. Cosine of 180 degrees is minus 1. Then we're subtracting a minus, so we're doing another, we're subtracting this value again. So this time we put naught in. So naught of um, cosine in here gives us 1, but it's a minus 1, so it becomes like that. So we've just got to be careful with our negative signs here. So you get a plus 1, plus 1, which is 2, which is 12 units. So that's the area, 12 units squared, I suppose. Um, okay, so that was part A, find the, uh, just find it. Part B asks us this time to ask us to spin it around, find the volume of revolution. Now, it's going to be quite hard for me to draw this, but basically you're just rotating this around the x-axis and you're going to get some kind of, um, I don't even know what kind of, some kind of solid, not disc shape, it's going to be like a solid, it's not going to be a sphere either. It's going to be some kind of like pebble shape when you spin it around. So, I want to rotate it the whole way, 360 degrees, 2 pi radians, about the x-axis. So to do that, we need this formula. We need pi integral of y squared dx. And we want it between 0 and 2 pi because it's between 0 and 2 pi here. Well, for us, we need to work out what y squared is. So y squared is 3 sine x over 2 all squared, which comes out as 9 sine squared of x over 2. And that's actually going to be quite hard to integrate, it's a sine squared. So let's actually uh, change this into a 9. Well, it's 1 minus... Well, let's work out what it is first. It's going to be some kind of... We need to know... What we need to know on the side is that actually sine squared is uses the uh, uh, cos double angle formula from our formula book there. So cos of 2a is cos squared a minus sine squared a but there's an alternative form that you should have learned and you should know which is 2 cos squared a minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine squared a which is what we're going to use so we're going to use the cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared okay so this is the one we want but we're going to rearrange it so if we rearrange it if we take the sine squared over here and the cos 2a over here and then divide by 2, we get sine squared on its own. And this is a common form you have to use. You have to rearrange this double angle formula here. So sine squared A for us is 1 minus cos 2A all divided by 2, a half of it. So that means what we're going to get is we're going to get, let's use that and put that back into uh, where we're using blue, is 1 minus cos 
and it's just going to be x because we want double angle, but double of a half angle, it's just an ordinary x, over 2. So we're going to use that. We're going to use 9 over 2, 1 minus cos x, and we can be able to integrate that because that's going to be easy. Okay, so we have to spot this. This is important here. This is really important. This stuff down here, you have to know. All right. So let's now, our integration is really then, our volume of revolution is really this. It's going to be 9 pi, the 9 comes from here and the pi from here, over 2, integral between 0 and 2 pi, of 1 minus cos x. So actually, that's a whole lot easier to integrate than 9 sine squared x over 2, okay? You can do this, you can do this, but it just becomes really complicated. This is a much better way to use the formulas to rearrange it. So, what does that give us? That gives us 9 pi over 2, and in brackets we're going to get, well, increase power by 1, well, becomes x, and cosine goes to, integrates to sine, so it's minus sine x, between our limits 0 and 2 pi. So that comes out as 9 pi over 2, and then we're going to get, put 2 pi in, so that gives us 2 pi minus sine of 360 degrees is 0, minus, well if we put uh, 0 in here we get a 0, and then we can get a minus minus, which is a plus, but it's 0 anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we've just substituted our limits in, and that leaves us with, What do we get? Well, 2 and 2 are going to cancel pi, so we're going to get 9, 9 pi squared units cubed for our volume. Okay, so the first bit was quite easy. The first integration was quite easy, straightforward. The second one, we had to use this formula here for our volume of revolution. It's always the same, except the limits will change depending on the question. So we worked out what y squared was, and actually we realized that at this point, that to integrate sine squared, it's really complicated, so it's much better to then change using our double angle formulas from our formula booklet. In this case, the three different versions of uh, cos 2a. Went down and found the one that's got sine squared, rearranged it, and then put that into here. Okay, and that made our integration much easier, stuck in our limits, and we came out with our answer. So maybe go back over it if you need to.